the OSHA Injury Tracking application for electronic submission of data is live. Certain establishments must report OSHA data electronically by December 1st, 2017. I'm not a lawyer, nor do I play one on TV, so I cannot tell you if your establishment is required, but if it is, Origami can make it a lot easier. First, let's look at the site. To get there, you click this Launch ITA button. If it's your first time, you have to create an account. I'm going to trust that you can handle that part on your own. And this is the home page. Now, there are three ways you can submit data to OSHA. The first is manually. And if you have a single reporting establishment, the manual data entry really isn't that bad. You click the Create Establishment button, which you enter your information. And then you simply type in the OSHA 300A data, which is only like a dozen fields. So it's not that bad. But if you have more than one reporting establishment, that's a pain. So there are two other mechanisms to report data electronically. You can upload a CSV file, comma separated values file, com containing multiple rows of data to do it all at once, or you can do it through an electronic API. Origami is developing the real-time API as we speak, so hopefully I will describe that in an upcoming video. But for now, Origami supports creating the CSV file that you can then upload to the site. How does that work? Let's take a look. On the Origami admin page, in the Locations section, there's a link for OSHA reporting establishments. This is where you define your OSHA reporting establishments. This is important because it may not match exactly your location structure in origami. Maybe your reporting establishments are the folders, maybe two folders combined to be a single reporting establishment. Doesn't matter, with origami you can define them however you need. To create a reporting establishment, you click the new button. First thing you have to do is name the reporting establishment. This is very important because OSHA requires that reporting establishment names be unique. So Origami will also enforce that rule. So I've already got an Origami Risk establishment, but if I wanted the Denver office, I can make it unique. You enter the obviously the rest of the information. This data is obviously made up for any of you stalkers out there. Establishment size is a code. This is all OSHA cares about. And the establishment type, same thing. The notification email is important because they're going to send you emails letting you know that the submission was successful or not. If you're tracking values by territory versus location, this checkbox is important because that'll help you define which values go with this establishment. And finally, if you're not tracking employees and man hours in origami, this provides a way for you to just manually enter that data. And then the last thing you want to do is define which locations are a part of this reporting entity. So you click the Edit Filters link, and this is like every other filter screen in origami. It could be a very complex filter, combining folders and locations, or in this case, it could be very simple. It's just the Denver location. So there you have it. I created a reporting entity. Now that wasn't too bad, but if you have a lot of reporting entities, doing it manually may be a pain. So, of course, the Origami Data Import Center supports importing OSHA reporting establishments directly from a spreadsheet. Once you have your reporting establishment set up, you can generate the CSV file. You can do them one at a time if you want, but that's kind of not the point. From the entire list, you can export a single CSV file with every reporting establishment. First thing you might want to do is make sure that your data is good. OSHA has certain sanity check rules in place. Number of employees must be greater than zero. Number of hours must be greater than zero. The hours to employees ratio must be sane. You know, things like that. So Origami can check those for you by clicking more and validate OSHA 300A. And you see I have several records where I have not entered a manual override for the number of employees and we don't have values in the system for it so it's showing up as zero and OSHA's going to yell at me. So assuming you fixed that data and now you're ready, you simply click more and export. And Origami creates 
the CSV file. Now that you have the CSV file, you can go back to the OSHA ITA site. And instead of creating an establishment manually, you just click the Upload a Batch File button. And you don't have to define the establishments first manually. They're already defined in the CSV file, so you simply load the file. Click Upload, pick your file, gotta check that box, and then you click the Upload button. That's it. Origami uploads the data, OSHA processes it. Pretty much immediately after submitting it, you'll get an email from OSHA saying that you submitted it. And then a little later, though in my testing it's been pretty quick, you will get a report on the actual submission. If you have errors, you might see something like this. And if it's successful, you'll get an email like this. That's how easy it is to electronically report OSHA data in Origami Risk.